recording. Okay. <laughs> it's yes. It's I don't like, know. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks since we were in here and we're we're rushing a little bit today, so I didn't mm-hmm. get a chance to test everything like I usually do, but that's okay. It looks like it's working. Well, that's fantastic. So. I'm glad it's working. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Okay. Hey everybody, I'm Jacoby. I'm Heather. And together we make a Jether. You're listening to Jether's Random Stuff. I hope everybody had a good week. Um, we had a super exciting week. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did by proxy because mm. I yes. made you. I was, yeah, I was quite <laughs> excited. I was excited about yeah. a lot of yeah. stuff. <laughs> a lot has happened since, mm-hmm. since this week. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, you know, and I didn't bring my phone, so I don't have my icebreaker question. Let's think of an um, icebreaker question. Um, what's a good one? Like, um, what's your favorite berry? <laughs> We're going to go with berries. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is how um, we roll when we don't have our phone. <laughs> um Wait, we're going to really go with the berries? Okay, let me think of something else. <laughs> What's your favorite um, um, alcohol that's not wine? Jägermeister. Besides Jäger. Oh, shit. Um, I, can I say a drink? Yes. Okay. I really do like a sand in my shorts from Red Robin. Oh, okay. Now, what is in the sand in my shorts? So, if I remember correctly, because Thor and I have made our own version, and we call it the Sandy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, I believe they're, I think it's vodka, triple sake, um, Chambroin, Midori. It's all, got a lot of stuff in Oh, it. it's a lot of alcohol liqueurs in there. <laughs> It's almost it all like alcohol. some juice or something? There? I believe there's some juice. <laughs> like some orange juice I or bring grenadine. I don't phone either. <laughs> oh, my God. We don't have our phones. We have no phone. And so we, um, we're going to be blind. We're blind right now. I was going to. We can't I, look up anything. I had the recipe in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, there's a lot of shit that goes in. Like, you have to pretty much... It almost sounds like a Long Island iced tea it type of a thing. It kind of is, except it's, like, pink. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's not like that ugly brown color. <laughs> well, some Long Island iced teas are not brown. Oh, okay. We used to get one at Bob's. Yes, and oh, that was, was, like, like purple a, almost. It was, like, grape something. Um, And... I can't remember, but uh, yeah, it was I, really good. It was. I don't. Was that on Long Island, Long Island iced tea? Yes, and variety. it was. A, it was a variety oh. of one, and it was on like on happy hour. We would get it. It was and purple something. It was purple, purple haze. Purple haze. Was that it? No, that's this is Chelan Walter side thing. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> why that sounds familiar. That should be a drink. Oh my God, let's make one and make it the purple haze. Okay, I know how to make purple drinks. Okay, we'll make that. And we'll okay, because haze sounds like good with alcohol drinks, like haze. haze. I don't know. I had so many of those purple hazes. I was in a haze. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. The first time I got completely shit face drunk to where I was like throwing up and stuff like that was on what was on Singapore slings. If you've ever had one of those, they taste like candy <laughs> if they're made correctly and you don't taste the alcohol. Huh? Yeah. That would be almost be almost a better icebreaker to question right there. What was, what were you drinking the first time you got massively oh, drunk? Singapore great, slings. There you go. At the Eagles with my parents. So there you and go. That was the first time, huh? <laughs> there you go. Yep. What about you? My first time was actually probably Thor's 35th birthday. Uh huh. Because I was about 30 at that point. Because, you know, I didn't really start drinking until about that yeah. time. And um, I that was the first time I met Travis. Okay. So, uh huh. And you've heard a little bit about Travis. Yep. Yep. He back then was a major party animal. Mm-hmm. And he was coming to help set up the party because his best friend was hosting the party at her house. So that's how I met him. Okay. So he got there and he, I already had a bunch of alcohol. He's like, well, what are we doing? We have to have a few shots before we even start get going. Oh, well, yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I wasn't a big <laughs> Let's drinker. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, but, you know, think the party was great because Travis set the whole thing up. I don't think I helped much with that. Yeah. And I remember when Thor got there because Thor was supposed to get there a little bit before the party started. And I answered the door like, hi. <laughs> and I was 
already shit faced. <laughs> Do not remember most of the party. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, broke some things, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then somehow woke up at home with the Pebbles hairdo. First oh, time. Wow. First, first Pebble hairdo. So what were you shooting? Um, vodka. Oh. Straight vodka. I don't know how people can shoot vodka. I don't, I don't know. No. It's just... It's well, good. it was a strawberry vodka. Okay, maybe that's better. Maybe it's a flavored vodka, maybe. And we had a ton. This was one of the first times I ever um, did the party tray from a Mexican restaurant. <gasps> oh. I had like three party trays from an Azteca restaurant from over yeah. there. You know, and then I had other people bring other stuff. So I had like um some slider. I mean, this was 35th birthday. I did it huge. I had a keg. Oh, my gosh. I had a full bar. No spody. There was not a Spody. I haven't. Had, well, you know there wasn't because I had never heard of one. Oh, that's right. But I did have a keg and I had other shit. It's like I really need to like. There was no wine at this thing though. Do, right. Well, <laughs> I didn't drink wine until yeah. I met you. And that, even that was like. Well, I didn't. Several do, years into our friendship, well, and we're like, we should learn to like wine. We should. <laughs> And we did that and adventure we, together. We did. Yes. And we committed. We did commit. And we... We wanted to be fucking classy we, bitches. That's right. Because we're classy fucking wine bitches. Wine is how classy people get wasted. That's right. You know? You know what? Cheers to you. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So now we're classy bitches because we drink wine. Mm. <laughs> well, I know. And a wine hangover, you know, feels mm. almost the same as if vodka one yeah pretty yeah. much the same you know you know you get the same effect yeah <laughs> <laughs> but we've discovered our little yes hangover pills so thank fucking god for that <sighs> yeah so mm. all, all is well all is right in the world so um kobe has a great story for <laughs> us great today story because to you know today. this is why we haven't been on for two weeks because she had to take a little mini vacation yes. for her daughter well mini, our daughter tiny mini vacation yeah. so yeah so we didn't do one so we were pre-recorded because last weekend um was megan's birthday 18 18 years old yep our little tech assistant uh-huh. is an adult oh my god she can like vote and get a tattoo <laughs> oh and we realized today at the mall that she could have pierced her nose if she wanted to oh wow <laughs> she would never do that no but she did yeah. want to get another earring thing to get a little bigger thing oh and like a little tiny gauge oh really little one okay and she said i have to get mom's permission i was like you yeah but I, I didn't when I was 18. Yeah, I think you're 18. So I think I, you I, do I that get, if you want to. I don't have to. You don't have to sign nothing. <laughs> you sign it. She doesn't sign it. But we don't tell her that because I don't want to get in trouble. Because, yeah, because I don't want that coming back on me. <laughs> but so we didn't come home with an earring. Okay. okay. <laughs> We'd even buy the gauge. So okay, I, there's no plan yet for okay. this. All right. Okay. Hopefully that blows over. <laughs> Um, so, but for her birthday, um, Jeff and I decided that we didn't want to have a big party because she has a lot of friends and they all don't get along with each other sometimes. So it's really hard. So we're like, just pick two friends and we'll take you guys to Seattle for a night and you can have your own hotel room and we'll go do fun stuff. Now, may I say one thing before you get going? Yes. Did I ask you not to do this? Remember no. me? I, remember no, I, you did not. I told you Seattle is dangerous. You did not tell me. Not I t- to well, do I it. actually told you no Mariners. Remember when you first said after that one? this, you told me never. When again. you were doing the tickets, I told you how bad it was when Thor and I went last. Yes, you did tell me that, and it was and it's scarier now. There. It is, but it was fine. Okay. Anyways, okay. anyway, yeah, keep going now. Um, so that's what we did, and just so you know, I kind of had a bad feeling. <laughs> going into the trip i don't know why I okay next time stick with I, the bad feeling i couldn't pinpoint it on anything i thought maybe it's just mm. me like overwhelmed with yes. everything um so we we went over we got our hotel which was a day's in um and it was probably the shittiest days in i've ever stayed in yes she she told me texted it was, me this a few times that night you about didn't how believe crappy. me how shitty it was well till I was, later because i left out a few details i actually did believe you because i have stayed at a couple couple times at a days in where we left in the middle of night oh, oh shit but i wasn't i was trying to make you feel better my text make you well, feel like it was not it's, it's not like, gonna be that bad and so it was it was it was clean, but it was very old. It was very dated. Um, stuff was kind of falling about. Like the fridge, the mini fridge in our room had to be at least 30 years old. It was like brown. Really? Like, oh, yeah. 
and it made a weird noise and stuff. And when we were walking to our rooms, we passed, because we were on the second floor, there was a room on the first floor that had a bullet hole through the window. <laughs> okay. Uh, that yeah. should have been... Replaced. A, you know, a Did they at least put a tape over the bullet no. hole? No. Nothing. There's nothing. So a bug can get through it. Yes. Wow. So we we checked in and then we took the girls to Dave and Buster's, which I've never been before. But you had a great time there. We had a great time. So Dave and Buster's, I'm sure people have heard of it, but it's supposed to be for adults. Yes. But it's like a huge arcade that has a restaurant and a bar, you know. And so he had gone on a Friday and we got there during happy hour, which was great because they had a really nice selection of drinks, like of cocktails. That is so awesome. That is so, so awesome. I got a couple of those. They're really, really good. And they're half price. So, hey. Hey. And then we bought the girls a card with a whole bunch of t- tokens or whatever. Perfect. And Perfect. they played games for like a couple hours. And then they one enough and they all got batching mood rings to take home so that was really cute <laughs> yes. and back to the hotel spent the night we gave them a bunch of snacks and stuff and you know yep they were good um so then the next day and apparently too during the night someone knocked on their door on the girls's door on the girls's door they didn't they didn't answer it though no they did not answer it they tell them, did they yell at them that they had a gun and they had no. to count to three to get away <laughs> i don't think so no <laughs> Um, so then the next day we got up and our plan was to go to the South Center Mall Mm -hmm. where they have uh, this thing called Round One, which is another huge arcade, but they also have a bowling alley. Yes. And there's also this big grocery store that's a Japanese grocery store that Megan loves to go get stuff. Of course. And so we're going to kind of do all this stuff. And if we had time, we were going to stop by the Cougar Mountain Zoo on the way home. So you many know, amazing plans. Right? What a fun day. I had planned out the scrapbook in my head. Yes. Already of all the pictures I was going to get. She seriously did. Because uh-huh, I, I did. knew the itinerary for this entire yes. week. And I knew how excited they were for each part of this trip. Yeah. I was so excited. She really was. To you like all the past tense here. To get all these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Mm-hmm. So. So we go to the mall. Yes. Walk around. We go into one store. Looked around. The girls were hungry. So we went to the second level. Because they did not have breakfast. They did not have breakfast. So we went to the second level where the food court was. Yes. Got them all something to eat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, While they were... So they were sitting at one table. Jeff and I were sitting at a separate table. And I don't know if I told you this. While they were sitting there, this older gentleman came up. To them? To them. And started talking to them. He's like, hey, do you guys like math? Oh, God. And they're like, what? And he's like, and he starts talking about COVID and like all these statistics and like going off and off. And I can just see Jeff like looking over there and sitting and kind of looking because they were kind of behind a pillar. Yeah. And pretty soon Jeff gets up and goes over there and he's like, hey, <laughs> they don't want you here. You need to get going. <laughs> Good for Jeff. <laughs> I know. And told them to take a hike. And so he did, and like we saw him because the escalators are right there. We could see him going down the escalators, like talking to himself. And I'm like, that dude is freaking weird, right? There's something wrong with him. Yes. <laughs> so then the girls are still eating. Mm-hmm. Jeff and I decide to go to the Mariner store, which is like Kitty Corner, yeah, from where they're eating. Because you had your upcoming game. Because Jeff going and I to... were going to go to a Mariner game in a few yeah, days. And see, I was going to yeah. get maybe a jersey or something. something. And I wanted to look. You need see. to look the fan part. Yeah. The only shirts I have are old. Oh, here. Are you still in the first one? Yeah, I'm sorry. Wow. That's not the usual. I'm talking. I know. I'm listening. And <laughs> <laughs> see, that's why I'm always out because I'm listening and you're talking. <laughs> Woo. Um. Oh. So we went over there. We're kind of looking. Just lick it. Lick it. <laughs> there you go. That's my girl. Oh, you're so hot. <laughs> I don't know if that was that hot. I should have like gone uh, uh, all the way up. There you go. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. So we went in the mirror store. I'm kind of looking. We're kind of, you know, and I'm holding up this shirt. And Jeff's like talking to the sales guy about it and stuff. And pretty soon the sales guy goes, hey. Something's going on. Everybody's running. (laughs) (laughs) And we're like, what? And so I put down my shirt. I didn't get a shirt. Damn it. Yeah. And we walked out into the mall and everybody's running off to the right. 
like running. Yeah, running. And we're like, what's going on? And somebody yells, shoot her. And, you know, oh my everybody God. knows what that means. And you just like go. Phew. It's like when if you're in the water and someone yells shark. Yeah. Even yeah. if you're in a fucking pool, you're freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> and so it just like. Ooh, it's just like that instant fight or flight, like adrenaline. Yes. Just like, ah. I was like, oh my God. And so then the girls, so everybody's running to the right. Yeah. The food court's to the left. Yes. Where we left the girls. Yes. So I start running that way. Of course she'd run that way. Because my kids are over there. Exactly. So I start running that way and people are yelling at me, don't go that way. Don't go that way. There's a shooter. And I'm like, well, like, my, my, kids kids. Are, my kids are over here. I have to go over here. So we go over to the table where they are and where they were and we're, they're, they're yep. not there. We're. <sighs> and so I didn't really panic until that moment when they weren't there because at that point I don't know where they are. Exactly. And so. Like was there remnants of them? Like, no. They cleaned, they cleaned up their table? They cleaned up their table <laughs> and threw away their trash. <laughs> I was so curious about that. So, wait, they, we can't run yet. Wait, they we literally have to clean our table. No, no, this is how bad it was. Um, Kyla and Nicole cleaned up their trash. Megan wasn't done, so she put her lid on and took it with her because she didn't want to throw it away. Not don't waste food. Yeah, you don't waste food. And later, because Kyla had um spaghetti and meatballs and like i had bought her this like garlic knot wait thing. you can get spaghetti and meatballs at the mall yeah okay yeah it's really good well, anyways amazing. and i got okay. this like garlic knot like bread yeah thingy. and later she's like i was so upset i didn't get to finish my garlic knot <laughs> but anywho so they weren't there and the escalator's right there that leads right outside the door where to outside where and that's where everybody's yes. leaving so jeff's like maybe they already went outside yes so um, we hop on the escalator. Yes. So it's at this point, and I'm thinking to myself, I have a license to carry a concealed weapon. She does. She's a badass. And I have a weapon that I do carry with me. And she usually does. And I did not have it with me this time. I didn't have it. Because I'm like, I'm not going to need it. She Why al- would you need it? You always bring it? No. No, I will always bring it. I'm yes. not going to need it. So I hop on the escalator. We're going down. I'm fumbling through my purse to get my phone to call Megan to see where they are. The yes. guy right in front of me turns around. He goes, it's okay. He goes, calm down. He goes, I have a gun. <laughs> Which most people apparently would freak out about that. Yeah, but you didn't. You were but just, it made you, me feel better. You were okay. It made me feel better. I'm like, thank you. I said, I have three girls and I don't know where they are. So I call Megan. Luckily, she ha- answers right away. She told me she hung up on you, though, quickly. Well, yeah, because I was <laughs> like, well, I wanted her to stay on the phone until yes, I saw that's her what face. She said to me, <laughs> she's like, I, I guess I was supposed to stay on, but I'm just used to, you know, when you're done yeah. getting what you're so, done, I just hang up. <laughs> when all this happened, they got up, cleaned their table up, <laughs> packed pack, up their food, up their got food. the lid on there. <laughs> Apparently, they were just watching people run for a minute and they're like, what's going on? And everybody's like, there's this shooter. <laughs> you guys have to get out of here. So they, instead of leaving, went to find us. Yes. Went to where the Mariner store was yes. and, the, and the sales guy had already locked the doors, shut the lights out. And he was gone. Like, yes. <laughs> gone. So, yeah, they just huddled up. So there. they just huddled. And that's when Megan, she was trying to call me, which is why she answered right away. So I, you know, and I'm like, yeah. where are you? Are you still in the mall? Yeah. I'm like, okay, where exactly are you? Exactly. She's like, well, we're kind of by the escalator. I'm like, oh, thank God. Uh-huh. Get on the escalator and come outside mm-hmm. right now. And so that's, and she goes, okay. And that's when she hung up and I was yes. like, ah, uh-huh. <laughs> um, and by this point we were outside and then the guy on the escalator that had the gun came up to me and said, are your girls still in there? And I said, yes, they are. So he ran back in to the mall and I ran after him into Aww, the mall. <laughs> what a hero. Yeah. And so, um, and right when we ran in, we could see him coming down the escalator you know so we kind of i know she was telling me scooped him up and megan told me they were like the only ones on the second floor when you called them yeah and she was like thinking in her head well if the shooter comes up here we're the only targets oh god that's That's what was that what was running through their heads because oh my god she gave me the whole play-by-play today at lunch from her perspective that was 
for yeah. teenagers. Well, that's why that's when she called, went into the thing saying we realized then that you either laugh into the crisis when and when you're facing death possibly, mm-hmm. or you hysterically cry. Mm-hmm. Out of the three, we had one crier and two laughers. Mm-hmm. And Megan said she was hysterically laughing, but she was but she terrified. Does that. She does that well, when she's nervous. Well, so. I remember yeah. that on Space Mountain. Mm-hmm. Best picture, best ride picture ever. She looks so fucking happy, and then she as did. soon as we get off the ride, <gasps> yeah, I'm never doing that again. Never <laughs> doing that again. <laughs> and we're crying. I'm like, yeah, fuck, yeah. And that picture, it. she like had her arms up. She like looked so happy. I mean, she's like, yeah. yeah. She gets off, yeah, crying. Oh my god, that's what she did at Scary Wood too, though. We did talk about that for the October trip. Yeah, and I told her she would enjoy some of the. Um, shows at oh, yeah. Not Scary Farm yeah. for sure. She's like, I just don't like to go through the mazes. Well, if you don't like to go through the mazes, I still wouldn't want to leave you out there because there's a lot well, of... Um, yeah, I would I would stay with her because I don't like to go through them either. The only way I go through them is if you're in front of me. Well, that's what I was going to do. I'm holding I will on go- to you. <laughs> that's what we were going to do. We were going to sandwich you and Megan between me and Thor. Okay. I go in front Thor's two behind. Okay. You guys are sandwiched, and then we'll have if it's Jeff. Jeff Care goes up the back. Okay, because they only mess with the front and the back. They'll right. mess with a couple of people in the middle, but if you stick really close to me, I'm making fun of the fuck out of them I anyway. Know. <laughs> yeah, I actually kind of want to go through with you. Yeah, it's fun <laughs> with me. Yeah, yeah, but I they will startle me once in a while, but you won't ever hear me like scream. The second scary would we went to, I was fine because one, I was drunk. Well, that's what my plan was, and two, I'd drink. already been through it, so I knew exactly where because it, it was the like, same exact thing. As was the it before. the same? Mm-hmm. It was the same. Oh, they changed it up at, at Not Scary Farm. So, yeah, but I can't. We well, don't want to leave you out there because you know there's over a thousand actors that are in the mazes mm-hmm. that are just roaming to scare you. Yeah, the one that scared us the most at Scary Wood was the guy dressed up in the in the bear costume that had a chainsaw that would just jump out at you from the bushes. Yeah. And then chase you with the chainsaw. <laughs> but okay. If you don't run, they don't chase you. Yeah. If you stop and get your phone out and take well, a selfie with them. And if them, you look at the chainsaw, there's no blade on it. <laughs> it's like, no, <laughs> there is no blade. You anyways. No, but no, you know. there can't be. Could you imagine if someone actually was sick enough to get a job there and decided I'm going to kill as many people as I can and actually put the blade in the chainsaw. You and who, everybody would think it was an act. Oh, they would. They would until enough people died. Yeah. <laughs> and they might realize something was going That's on. That's really, um, morbid morbid heather that's like really like <laughs> i've thought about it a couple times when i'm in there and i'm being all tough i'm like oh yeah yeah go ahead i'm like god what if there was a what if there was this person's that, insane what if they had a real knife and they just stabbed and they just me stabbed in, me in the face of it, like, and yeah. no one and i thought the same thing as you I was like no one everyone thought i was a paid actor mm-hmm. yeah they would have it would be like the perfect crime mm-hmm. yeah if they were just trying to kill one person do you know what my mom always said the perfect crime would be what you stab someone in the heart with the, um, uh, um, I can't even think of the word right now. Is it a tool? An ice. Ice. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Icicle. Ice st- icicle. Yes. But then it melts. Yeah. And so there's no murder weapon. There is no murder weapon. You're right. <laughs> okay. You know what's so Sorry. weird about that? <laughs> you know why I got that so quick? Thor told me a riddle last night. A man was found face up with a hole in his chest with a puddle of water on what? the ground around it. Got stabbed with an icicle. How, how did he die? And I actually came up with the icicle. Got stabbed with an icicle. So it's so funky that that was last night. He just <laughs> gave that <laughs> riddle seriously? to me. Last night he gave me that riddle. Last night. And now you just said that. See your mom and Thor. They're just, you know, we're they're all there. connected. We're all there. Mm. Mm-hmm. So anywho, we left <laughs> the mall. We did not do any of the fun things that we thought she we were going to do. She texted me. I texted Heather because... I knew she was going to be there. She knew we were going to be there. And I texted my son because I had just talked to him and told him we were going there. And I didn't want him to see it on the news. Which you actually got to us before they broke on mm-hmm. the news. Yeah. Because it was very difficult for me to find anything. When we left, the SWAT team had just arrived and were running around with their big, you know. Yeah. Their vests. AK-47. And, and their, their vests big guns and their helmets and, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And yeah. and uh, we got the heck out of there. Yeah. But the shooter was gone by that point. He was gone and they still haven't caught him. 
So it, you know, maybe just a tad bit, you know, better that it actually wasn't a random shooting. No, he wasn't trying to it off was as many gang, people as he it could. It was gang related and he was shooting two specific people, not just randomly shooting people. Yes. Doesn't so make it a lot better, but a little better for we'll you. will never go there again. <laughs> Don't join a gang. <laughs> yeah, gangs are bad. Okay. I want this. Get, oh, that's like, yeah, there you go. I you want, they were do you want together. any? No, I'm good. No, I took two on purpose. Okay. I thought I they want, were hooked together. No, I want two. Um, so, yeah. So, that's what we did over the weekend. Mm-mm. And then Jeff and I went to the Mariner game two days ago. Well, no problems. No problems. It was in the middle of the day, though. It was like a noon game. Me and she just went there. We and went, went back. But yeah. got an amazing purse. I did get an amazing purse. I got a Mother's Day present for myself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and the Mariner's... Did not do well, but but the Baltimore pitcher pitched a perfect game, so we got to see that, which is you know you, that's rare. It's very rare mm-hmm. to, to pitch a perfect game. So, so which I if hit, you don't know what that means, that means Mariners didn't score once. Yeah, <laughs> no runs, no hits, no, no hits. walks, no errors, nothing, 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 nothing. No, <laughs> just strike out, strike out, strike. It was three up, three down. Yep, or fly out, strike mm-hmm. out, fly out, ground out. You guys weren't in a place where you can get a foul, huh? We maybe is possible. Well, and so the we we're at the third base line, right? Right past the third base. We we're on the second level in the front row. Yes. So anytime like the other team like hit and mm-hmm. they got him out, then they like throw the ball around, you know, to the infielders. Yeah. And then they give the pitcher a new ball, though. He doesn't. They don't like to use the same ball. Oh. They go through a lot of baseballs in a baseball game. Okay. So. The third baseman would end up with this ball that they weren't going to be using, and he would throw it into the stands, right? So he was hucking it into the first level seats right below us. Oh. And he did it a whole bunch of times. And so after the first two times, when he had a ball and I would turn around, he would turn around and I knew he was going to throw it. I would get up and start screaming his name Seeker, Seeker. And I would get up and like Mm -hmm. scream. Mm mm. Just like, honey, he can't throw it that far. I'm like, yes, he can throw it that far. He's already throwing it. Like, almost he can throw it that far. Mm-hmm. And so I was screaming every time. Never threw it to us. And then when we were leaving, and of course, it's COVID. Yeah. So yes. no one sits by you. Like, they're mm-hmm. they're in the same section, but no one can sit right by you. So we didn't really, like, talk to anybody, ever, but we're yeah. getting ready to go. And there were these people that were leaving ahead of us. And, and they're like, oh, you didn't get a ball, huh? And I'm like, no. I said I was screaming at him the whole time. They're like, yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, touche. You know what? <laughs> Jacoby makes an impression at every baseball game. I do. I mean, I, I only have been the one. I helped a little with the impression, but I was not the swearer that made them leave that that is the karma you got for having to use that Blake. <laughs> disgusting. Floor. It, uh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's not disgusting. It was wrapped around babies. No, it wasn't. It was on the floor. Why was it on the floor? At Safeco Field. But that's where they left it. On the ground. They were. It wasn't on the ground the whole time. Hey, listen, though. I didn't eat nachos off the ground either. And someone did. I'm, a, <laughs> I'm not ashamed of that. <laughs> Why do people keep bringing that up? Like, uh, that's something I'm embarrassed of. I'm not embarrassed by that. You know I did it, that in public. Do you know how dirty the ground is in the stadium? You ate nachos off of it. So what? <laughs> I used to eat carrots right out of the ground without rinsing the dirt off, too. Ew. I'm a farm girl. That tastes gross. No, it was actually tastes better. I don't eat. Little minerals. You're eating dirt. You're eating dirt. Who hasn't eaten fucking dirt? You ate a ton of dirt when you were a baby, I bet. No. How do you know? I didn't. How do you know? I didn't purposely eat dirt. I used to make mud pies and eat it. Oh. Delish. P- please tell me uh, that's not true. <laughs> ask my... Oh, you can't ask Grandma Nelson. Sorry, Grandma. You can ask my dad, though. <sighs> wow. I never purposely ate dirt. I don't know. It's not a big deal. And then the carrots actually taste a little better with a little dirt on them. Oh, my God. <laughs> Literally. I would rip them right out of the ground or... <laughs> Eat it like because you felt like Bugs Bunny. Oh, is that why you were doing it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And it was nice. And it was this like is something had, I never knew about you. It had all this, you know, the greenery on the back of it. 
Uh-huh. And it was like this bright orange carrot with just a little fleckles of dirt on it. And pfft, there you go. You don't really taste wow. the dirt. You just taste okay. the amazing carrot. Yeah, I would taste the dirt. I can't even eat a carrot unless I um, peel, peel it. Peel it. Oh, you don't have to peel them. You can just it eat it. Because it tastes like dirt. <laughs> That's why I can't eat asparagus. Anyway. Because asparagus tastes like dirt. This is... <laughs> Maybe this is why I don't get sick very often. It you could got be. To, well, you don't get sick very often I either. No. I mean, I played outside a lot as a kid. We were always outside, but so, I didn't purposely eat dirt. Well, I'm just saying people that do that stay outside a lot, expose themselves to like dirt, homeless peanut butter sandwiches, mm -hmm. and nachos off the stadium floor. Stadium floor nachos. Yeah, yeah stadium floor nachos. Uh -huh. Now, granted, we do. I did not scrape the ground once with the nachos. You did it. The whole time you were justifying it by going, I'm eating, only eating the stuff on the top. <laughs> this is what exactly, <laughs> and nothing top. touched the ground. I was only touching the nachos that were above it. The and bottom like, layer nachos, no. Thor's all sitting there with this because it was in a <laughs> helmet, like a plastic Mariner he helmet. Just brought he it here. just bought it and it got dumb and he's sitting there going my nachos and I was like they're fine and she's just like eating them off the ground I'm like I don't know if you should do that and he's just like my nachos he got more he went up there and talked he, to they gave him a free, free yeah rifle. he just had to bring the empty poor little helmet and, and then, they gave him a and new then one and then Jeff got him too he didn't spill him but then remember they go <laughs> they went and washed him and then we wore him the rest of the game we were insane that game. God, we, we had our insane. little bowls. <laughs> shaking at them. I was screaming. And we were drunk. And I didn't even know what I was saying. And pretty soon I hear Jeff go, honey. I, I go, know. what? He goes, stop cussing and yelling. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't know I was. Like, you were so swearing so loud. And there was kids. Like, I remember the kids turning around and looking at us. And like, pretty well, soon they all left. Um, actually, we had kids that were surrounding us. There was in front. And then they, there was the ones in the back with the special blanket. Yeah. Well, they also left their bobbleheads. Yes, we got bob. See, she never expresses happiness over the bobbleheads. It's just displeasure over the blanket, which the I still blanket would have been fine if she would have took it home and washed it. I did. And then use it. But she let me use it while I was drunk <laughs> before she washed it. <laughs> you were called and you asked for a blanket. You're I like, I wanted a pillow. You're like, here's a soft blanket. <laughs> And then later, I'm like, what blanket is this? You're like, it's the one I found at the stadium. I'm like, fuck. I hate you right now. <laughs> I would have used it if I needed a blanket. I was going to. But if I gave it to my best friend God. instead, that's friendship. Because <laughs> I was going to use it. And then I was like, I'll just, I don't need a pillow. I'll let her have it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I still have the blanket. If Thor was driving, like, <laughs> he drives, and if I can just slam my head against the window and shit. <laughs> I, I, I was in the back seat with you. We put was, Jeff up front. That was fantastic. It was a great day. It's a great day. Oh, my God. It's such a great day. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we're gonna go because yeah. we have um we have a wine excursion we have an excursion we have to go to <laughs> yeah. but thank you everybody for listening yeah. and we'll see we week. will see you next week have a good week peace, peace. out